Tell me I'm a pretty little girl. <laughs> You're a pretty little girl. Yay! <laughs> How are ya? Good, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for doing this. Oh, like literally seven minutes before my EP comes out. Exciting. Yes, very, very. Let me just get my glasses one sec. Sure. There we are. Oh, now look, Much how, look how smart you are. Yeah, barely. I'm in like, in my complete like, decorating my house clothes right now. Oh, good. <laughs> Are you happy to be back overseas, back in London? Um, well, it's been it's been very good for the old creativity mojo. Um, I think uh, yes is the the quick answer. It's been great. Good. So this new EP of yours, Far From Over. Tell me a little bit about it and the creative <sighs> process. Woo. Okay. Well, I was having a conversation with someone, um, a, a fellow music journalist like yourself, and um, he basically asked me a bunch of questions that I didn't really have answers to and I was kind of answering them out loud, like kind of figuring out the answers as I was saying them. And then I was like, uh, yeah, I've got some work to do. Um, to, to like, What has happened to Frank Music? That's a very good question. What right. has... And so um, I, after the interview, I was like, right. Um, and this was six weeks ago. I was like, right, I'm going to just... I've got nothing to lose at this point. Right. Let's make the music that I want to hear. Let's look at my inspirations and and after my um, sort of, you know, real misstep of the second album, it's like, well, I've got nothing to lose. It can only get better from here. So I decided to, over the next six weeks to get my website reset up, yeah. get the music going, get merchandise together and do it all for myself so I had full control. And the fruits of my labor are now out for the world to see. That's awesome. What have you uh, experienced so far fan-wise from the people? Are people excited? Someone just donated a hundred pounds to the charity that I've set up for... Basically, I, I'm not asking for money for this EP. Yeah. Um, I'm asking people to donate and, and one of the fans just straight up said, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be making music myself. Here's a hundred pounds. I'm like, you That's fucking awesome. kidding? We're, we're in a fucking recession right now and someone's just... It's, it, I was crying. I, I just couldn't believe it. It was amazing. Well, it, it shows that really people people believe in you, right? And believe in your music. So that's good to know. It's all very humbling, yes. Absolutely. So you just said earlier that you said that your second album you thought was a misstep. Is that what you yeah. said? Why would Absolutely. you? Why do you think that? Um, I, I was... Um, it wasn't anyone's fault, really. I just... I was trying to get as far away from... A situation in England because I didn't really believe in the work and then so I went to America I was there for two years three years I lived there for three years yeah. and um, and I thought well I know I'll just like try and kind of reinvent the brand out there but I, I don't want to be negative at all I love Los Angeles great weather and and great opportunities but sadly I found it to be very devoid of anything that inspired me creatively or emotionally. Okay. So um, I think the second album was a, a misstep because I didn't, I wasn't doing it for the right reasons, I suppose. Okay. Dare I say it. There, I, I, I said it. It's out. <laughs> so you think uh, maybe the work didn't come out as genuine, maybe? Is that what it absolutely. was? Absolutely, yeah. Totally. I mean, don't get me wrong, Far East Movement, I love them. They're the yeah. greatest guys in the world and they work bloody hard. But I was never a major record label artist. I am self-sufficient yeah. I, and I should just be doing it on my own terms and that's what I'm doing now. That's great. Well, I, I liked the album personally, but I'm really excited about your new stuff. Um, tell me a little bit about um, Captain and its inspiration and its sound. It's definitely something that we're used to hearing from you. Yes, well, it's it's. Um, I think what made people excited about me five years ago, five fucking years ago. <laughs> oh my god, uh, half a decade. Wow, that's gone quick. Um, the the reason why that was exciting uh, was because I wasn't doing it for any other reason apart from I wanted to hear music I hadn't heard before. I wanted to hear pop songs wrapped up in in a different context, a little bit like the sort of electro pop kids were doing back in the eighties. Yeah. You know? picking up synths and just going for it. Um, so I wanted to bring that back. Um, and that's what I've been doing on this record. I, I was inspired by a lot of J-pop, not K-pop, yeah. no, no, J-pop, okay. because they've gone crazier, whereas K-pop says we're just going to copy what America does. Um, so 
not good. But J-pop is like, you know what, screw Korea. We're going to actually like be so out there and so outrageous. Um, we're going to do that instead. And so I've been looking at acts like Carry Pam You Pam You oh, and um, uh, Perfume. Two massive J-pop, and they're electro-pop as well, which is what I do. So hearing people with millions of YouTube hits, massive fan bases. I mean, Carrie Pam You Pam You did a show here. It's sold out like a month in advance. You know, there is an alternative to what we are offering. And, and it seemed to be that my music made sense in that context. So, yeah, I, I made it as crazy as I could, actually. Excellent. So now do you think you're going to be big in Japan? Or? Uh, I don't... <laughs> I think, I mean, I'm, I'm targeting Asia, which yeah. is a market that I've never, ever targeted. And I think that's a real shame because I do think my music would work there. Absolutely. Um, so, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm having a crack at it right now. So That's great. Well, I haven't listened to all of the songs yet. I haven't had a chance to, but I'm really excited. So tell us about how we can download it and then tell us a little bit about Oxfam. Right. Okay. So um, uh, you can get the music in 10, 11 minutes. Um, by the time this interview comes out, of course, it will already be out. But it's from my new spangly, shiny www.frankmusic.com website. Um, <clears throat> fully run by me now, which is amazing. Um, and it's for free. Um, it's only six weeks work, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> but the, the EP is for free and you can just, you have to put in your email though. I want your fucking email. No email. Then you'll have to, yeah. <laughs> then you just have to like find it on Google, like two seconds later. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so that is uh, the EP. Um, now Oxfam, um, all contributions because basically, I'm asking. Um, just, um, I don't want to sell music. Actually, it's kind of weird. Um, I'm of the the mindset now that you don't need to sell music. Music is free. Um, but what you do is you offer an alternative to let the listener feel like a, a moral thing. So actually, yes, I'm giving you music. Now I'm giving you the opportunity to feel good about yourself in a different way. Because okay. um, I'll make money some other way, but not selling MP3s at yeah. seven yeah. pence each. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> so this benefits everyone much more. Um, and Oxfam is an incredible organization that is designed to... Um, to deal with world poverty and um, I know how fucking lucky I am to be able to do what I do every day um, with with my resources and there's people out there who would just die to have any of the one things in this room you know that isn't much to me but would be a mine like a gold mine to someone else right amazing well I think that's a great alternative and I think it's a great thing that you're doing with your music you Thank plan you. on taking this music now to do lots of live shows a tour what's the plan Yep. Um, when are you putting this out, just out of curiosity? Uh, tonight. Okay. Um, well, I won't be announcing it until Monday, but... Well, I can't wait to check out all the songs tonight and jam out to them, as I always do, to all of your stuff. So, Thank you. you're very welcome. Thank you for chatting with me. I really appreciate it. Hi, bro. Always. Um, and uh, I'll let... I think the, the actual album will probably be coming out mid-April, most likely. Ooh. Okay. I don't know if I can handle that, but okay. <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much. Have a good Go night. Bye-bye. Bye, buddy.